All right, so driving with the new twin plate clutch, well, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind after I've got probably about 500 k's on it now, um, so I can start to give it help. But, you know, once I got used to the, the feel of the clutch and, you know, the, the slip again, because I've been running that six puck ceramic clutch, so I've virtually had no slip. It's nice to have some slip back now with the organics. So, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is, it's just, it's bliss. Like cruising along, you know, just like any other clutch. Um, I will say earlier, the only downside is the noise, which you can hear here. But that, that's indicative of all twin plate clutches. So, so the, way, the way it feels basically, it's maybe about what the clutch is stock, or maybe a tiny bit lighter even. It's nice and springy. It's yeah, the, the the setup with this is really nice. Oh, and a quick public service announcement for my buddy Darius. He spoke to me the other day, and he wanted to put the word out there that drifting on stretched tyres is not a good idea. As you'll see here, there is a photo of what happened to his back tyre when he was getting sideways. I think the pictures speak for themselves, so keep that in mind. And you know, in regards to noise or anything like that, you know, it's perfectly normal. You know, this car's noisy the most because it's pretty much bare bones, raw driving experience, but, you know, compared to the other clutches I've had, it doesn't make any more noise. There might be a, a slight bit more noise when you're kind of loading it up in a high gear and low RPM, but other than that, it's, just, just like normal. So it's kind of got, you know, the slip, the slip of stock, but the bite of an aftermarket clutch. So yeah, with the twin plate, you kind of get in the habit of when you're sitting stationary to just have your car in neutral, so you're not having that annoying rattling noise. So I'll give you a quick demo of what it's like taking off. So yeah, friction point's about 20 mil off the floor, and then you've probably got a 10 mil window in which to hold that and kind of feather the clutch and throttle to slip it. And then once you're after that, you're out and you're going. So, you know, it's quite bitey. And you know, between gear shifts as well, you get straight back onto the power pretty quick. You know, you let the clutch out. You know, first to second, you kind of have to feather it a bit, like most cars, because, you know, sometimes to do with the ratios, you get a bit of a, a jump when you dump the clutch back out. And it also is a bit nicer on the clutch too. So yeah, I don't know if you can hear that rattle. It sounds like something seriously wrong with the car. But, but no. It's funny, funny um, when you pull up next to someone watching their reaction at the lights when you push your clutch in and you hear that disgusting rattling noise. So yeah, first, second. Now, unfortunately, I can't go too hard on this box because those of you that know the T5 and what power they're kind of rated to, I'm about double that and it's still holding up, but I have to baby it. So, you know, one day I will be going to a fully built T5, most probably. I'd like to go dog box, but I don't know how that would go on the street. I'd probably at least go straight cuts, first through to fourth, and then leave fifth as a normal helical cut. But I think. I think I probably will end up just going normal beefed up synchronizers, etc. Because this is a daily street car, so dog box might be a bit OTT, I think. That turbo just sounds so amazing. So yeah, that's about all I've got to say other than thumbs up. It's worth the money, so far so good. Hopefully it lasts what I expect it to. And if it keeps going this way, I'll be happy with it for a long time. So also, if you like my videos, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more. Um, you know, this year, might hopefully start doing a fully built motor for the Subi. Uh, I've got a meth, meth injection set up to finish installing on this. Um, I've got to hit the dyno again. And you know, you never know. A new gearbox might be in the equation soon too.